So first of all, I would like to say thank you uh, for joining us. I know it was a very short notice, but uh, I'm really glad and we really appreciate that uh, you, could, you could come and uh, participate. So I think uh, all of us uh, agree on that uh, natural products are undervalued today and the industry, especially pharmaceutical industry, turned away from um, utilizing natural products nowadays. That's why we think it's, um, it's time to talk about them again and, um, and trying to bring them back to uh, science and research. Um, a little bit of reasoning why I'm talking about that and uh, what we initiated a few years ago. Um, so we have a very ambitious mission uh, that started as a, a project and then later we founded a company. It was called Envision Biotechnology, but uh, we changed the name. So uh, we had a very ambitious mission, as you see, that uh, we would like to also create an artificial intelligence powered scientific database. What does it mean? Um, so basically it means that uh, we would like to have uh, an aggregated scientific database on natural products that will help uh, certain scientific applications. And also later in time, uh, the quality database uh, would go under uh, machine learning studies or utilizing machine learning, applying machine learning on that data set. That is today, uh, I believe, is not available. So uh, behind this ambitious project, we also built a team with a diverse skill set. So we, we also had to include uh, strong business acumen because we need uh, financial resources as well and business reasoning in order to uh, uh, sustain this mission and build this mission. So uh, Senin, uh, he's our business strategist, Peter and Nora. They are, uh, uh, Peter was a former a Chemaxon salesman, Nora is still with Chemaxon, she's our marketing leader. Dave Watson is also supporting us as a business strategist. He was uh, the former CEO of Laza Limited and uh, Atanas Professor, he's also our great supporter. He's a well-known natural product scientist. We also built um, a scientific advisory board. Philip is uh, with us, uh, Mukund, who is uh, from the United States, MIT and Harvard, Johannes from um, Germany. He applies frequently computational <coughs> approaches on natural products. Barry is our uh, host. Robert uh, Preissner, uh, probably you know his uh, database, uh, the Supernaturals. Mila Emerald from Canada and the uh, Hungarian professor uh, Deje. So this is the very quick uh, highlights on the business side and uh, so what initiated us back in two years ago uh, or a few years ago to start uh, dealing with this topic? Uh, natural product or natural product inspired research. Um, so how do we start? Uh, uh, we start with the information we collect about the natural product. What kind of information fields I'm talking about? I'm talking about the information on the natural uh, sources, <laughs> plants. We need, for example, uh, when we talk about the plant, know the plant part, the taxonomy, certain information about uh, the biological sources. We need to know that that plant part was prepared in a way, how it was prepared, or that preparation was uh, analyzed by certain analytical chemical methods and the results of that, uh, these phytochemicals, those individual phytochemicals can be related to in vitro studies or, um, or the preparation can be related to an in vitro assay and certain result. So we are going to get a very complex uh, database. And this is what we would like to uh, build. So we started to um, we started to analyze the 
current landscape of traditional medicine databases, natural product databases, uh, over, I think, a uh, hundred. And um, we faced several challenges. Sometimes they are not maintained. Sometimes the cheminformatics is ambiguous. Uh, stereochemistry is problematic. So in conclusion, without going into the details, we see that the data standardization integration is problematic and also the chemical information is i would like to highlight that that's also sometimes or often questionable um let me provide you two use cases uh, these are just uh, two examples from uh, a nestle uh, project and when they wanted to find a biological source of a given natural product and uh, ideally uh, in the synthetic world, what we are used to, that we go and consult a database, and uh, usually it's uh, very manageable and, and easy to do. But if we look for information like this, then you have to do a literature search, uh, and, uh, and it's very tedious. So, uh, or you need to search many databases. So that's why we feel that there is a need for such a structured data compilation. And the other use case I was uh, given is that they were look, looking for the commercial source of natural products. So ideally, we again go to a vendor database, but uh, if you look for a natural product and uh, that it's getting problematic again. Uh, for example, one thing is commercial databases, they don't uh, always indicate that one synthetic is natural, a natural product or not. Um, if you do a study, you see that one is indicating, the other one is not. Uh, the other thing is um, that 10% of uh, the virtually known natural products is available commercially. So, uh, so where do you get the rest, if you can? So that's, that's why. Um, we were thinking of a solution, uh, how, how we can uh, fill this niche, that this gap. The first one is uh, the obvious one. There are smaller data sets already existing, and then we try to integrate them and uh, worked out a standardization schema. And we realized that uh, this, is, uh, this is not going to be uh, an enough uh, data data set, large enough. So there are big wide uh, spaces. Therefore, we would like to fill the gaps with uh, crowds, crowdsourcing, uh, so the data collection through individual scientists. And then this database could be then uh, used for multiple uh, purposes. We also we are also working on a user interface that is basically based on a knowledge graph. So uh, you will see the relationship between the the data types. Uh, let me go back to this crowdsourcing uh, idea. So uh, we started to to build a, a network that can source and fill up this database. Um, the way we, we expect. So initially, we, we were uh, a bit uh, anxious about how it's going to work and if anybody will be interested in sharing their data. But soon enough, uh, we found that uh, we found that we could recruit several enthusiastic uh, experts who are who showed willingness to share their data and uh, and work with us. So today, uh, we have over a thousand experts who who are uh, communicating with us and then uh, who are willing to to uh, take this mission and <clears throat> so basically this will be a membership based access to a common common uh, data repository and uh, and why i took this uh, short perspective here is uh, at the moment, we have one side is the data source, the people who are uh, 
are willing to to share what they know about specific plants or, or phytochemicals natural products and on the other hand we are also uh, we are uh, need to work on the the need what exactly what kind of information what specific field is uh, today required for certain applications and uh, usage scenarios what is the quality standard that you as users or interested parties are uh, are required in order to be able to utilize such a data data set so i think um, it was my uh, short perspective and uh, i will be happy to discuss it uh, further with you so thank you for your attention Thank <laughs> you.